Hi, I'm Andre Kent Jr. and I wanted to discuss a little bit about some of my degrees and my degree status. Okay, so everybody knows in high school, oh, A, 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 I'm still A, you know, you feel me? I'm A, but when I graduated, so in 2011 to 2013, I was a dual enrollment student at Aiden Griffin High School and Pitt Community College through the AVID Early College Dual Enrollment Program. So when I graduated, I was in business and I got a certificate of basic business. That certificate of basic business in 2019, it was applied when we checked it at Wake Technical Community College, it was an Associates of Applied Business. Okay, my high school diploma, and then when I was at East Carolina University, from 2013 to 2015, I had enough credits to probably be a senior or a junior, but I wanted to start my own business by that time, and, you know, entrepreneurship wasn't a degree. It was just when Obama had just passed certain laws where you could do Kickstarter, GoFundMe, and crowdfunding and so i didn't really have a program and i decided to open up my own business and you know i went through some trials and struggles and stuff um trying to open my own business and you know the system's not being ready for me yet because it was still a new degree program so i had to wait and now here i am so I use that and say that is my bachelor's degree, my whole experience getting all the way to the point where they can actually award out a bachelor's degree in entrepreneurship. And that's especially in East Carolina University. I know my timeline because East Carolina University, Miller, a Miller School of Entrepreneurship got its endowment probably in 2000 anywhere from 2015 to 2017. That's how I know. Not saying that we were directly attached, but I was in school at that time and I was a student. So when I was doing entrepreneurship, trying to figure out, you know, what what, what about the concerts and stuff? This down, with the concerts and stuff, it was so great to do it because AJ also got degrees off of them trying to do the concerts and stuff where the shareholders thought we didn't spend our money wisely. But when you're planning a concert, you have to be responsible for the vending, concessions, ticket taking, sheriffs, patrol, um, after parties. You have to be in control of ticket pricing, setting your tickets, finding the audiences, finding the fans that will come to the event, choosing the performer, choosing the concessions that you'll allow and what you want, discussing alcohol, discussing the prices of certain things, booking a venue, and everything that comes into taking a concert from an idea to a fully produced production all across the community. Not like just doing one little concert where you're at school and you got homecoming weekend or you got your spring event. No, but taking that and using entrepreneurship to bring in an audience, just like what you would do at Minden Hall or Hendricks Theater or uh, one of the theater programs on campus where they teach you if you're a singer, how are you going to collect for your singing expenses? If you're an entertainer, how are you going to collect for your entertainment? How are you going to do your booking fees? How are you going to collect booking fees and services? You know, are you popping? Are you entertaining? Will people pay to see you? Will people pay for your event tickets and prices? So I tied all of that into entrepreneurship, including dancing, then watching my workout programs, the streaming system. You know, and these are all topics that you're going to address in entrepreneurship from streaming, how to get paid for views, should you charge for views, how is the church business, what is the business of a church, you know, that type of stuff in entrepreneurship where when you say entrepreneurship wasn't a degree and other people say, well, entrepreneurship was a degree, it just wasn't widely gone in. But look at the many specialties that you could go in with entrepreneurship that you would have to have a curriculum for to an extent 
it's not like you're going to class and you're going straight for that. And entrepreneurship, you're having to be your own business owner for whatever business it is. There's a difference between opening up a company that launches rockets in the space versus a company that does jewelry and they get diamonds from Africa. So I tied all that in the entrepreneurship. So that would have gotten me along with the invoice that I sent in for all the work, which would have gotten me a full bachelor's and a master's degree. But while I was also over there, the United Kingdom was watching, which they were monitoring their scores through the Homage Network, which would probably give me the bachelor as AJ, and it would give me a master's degree or a bachelor's degree in the United Kingdom through Holt International School of Business because I was partially their investment too, and they wanted to see how it turned out, see if they could level it out. So that would be an associate's degree of applied business, a bachelor's of business and entrepreneurship. That would be another United Kingdom or global for Holt either a master's degree or a bachelor's degree and then after 2017 through 2018 2019 I was at Wake Technical Community College to an extent discussing different things and programs and credits with them where I had enough credits to ask to be placed in the arts program where I could get an associates of arts and my associates of arts would have come from Wake Technical Community College if I took 14 more credit hours or I could have taken the classes and got them transferred back to Pitt Community College. But since I couldn't actually go anywhere, you know, because so many things were going on about all of that, they were completely unnecessary and inappropriate of our shareholders and board members and stuff now that everything's separated, let me say. That's why it seems like so much stuff is complicated and I'm a lot winded these days because there's so many changes going on behind the scenes and stuff, you know, but that will put me at a master's degree completely. In 2018, everything started piling up together and I started hitting the system. If you go check my text messages and Facebook messages and stuff where they also monitor my education through Google and Facebook and all the tech giants and stuff that said they'll give me a certificate or a degree and the financing versus the school system. If the school system turns me down or if I want to go to Technical Valley, Silicon Valley and stuff, they'll finance it just the same. So we try to keep them separate, but there's a lot of people that are well invested to the assignment. So, you know, by the time I was done in 2018, not really, I had came out, you know, we monitored it. It might not have matched the courses directly, but it would have put me at a doctorate of business administration. That would have been the first doctorate. Now, I didn't choose a place for my master's degree, but letting you know that that would have given me the master's too um, in the UK. And here at home, I would have two masters. And then don't forget, AJ has his own stuff at Young and Dumb Entertainment that they're doing, which would have gave him another master. So the master's degree would have come from Young and Dumb Loans, being able to take the loans out, you know. And it's that diagram and pictures that are on my Facebook page where I made it public. That way, we could do a strategic alliance with either a private or a public college to do the startup system. So that would have made me doctor. Andre Kent Jr. I would have been a new doctor though. I wouldn't have been so experienced and stuff that I knew everything that was going on. And I had to hustle over these last four years, believe me. So while I was in the program and stuff and I was working, like I said, AJ's got his own degree sets and stuff. Let's treat that doctorate like it's for the home and shared and that's every parent's dream for their child to become a doctor. So I became Dr. Kent. You know, um, at that time, and then I used the Road to Eagle Scout to complement the doctorate process. It complemented because I had to prove that I could handle that type of stage and that type of uh, audacity, to be completely honest. You know, but then I would have been stuck. Let's say I made that home that I would still be stuck on my master's degree or I'd be stuck on a doctorate degree from the UK. So I got the UK degree and I got the United States of America degree, but the UK, uh, United States degree is shared and the UK degree is not. So I had to have lesson plans for both. So I went for a third doctorate degree with some of my other projects that they're measuring and stuff to see what's a master's, what's a bachelor, what's a doctorate. So I'm still Dr. Kemp, but my next degree, my second doctorate on my side 
it's actually mine. So there's two doctorates at play, but we just haven't chosen a location yet.